So Deadpool and Wolverine is Marvel's latest blockbuster that just came out this past weekend, and it's been one of the most highly anticipated movies of the entire year. But now that it's finally out, Christians all over social media have been very vocal about some of the Christian slash Jesus references that were in the film. And with all of the controversy within the Christian community right now, I honestly think that these references may not be what they seem. My name is Eric Rivera, and I'm a teacher of the Word of God that loves to see Christians go to the next level in their walk with God. So I make videos like these for people just like you. So if you're interested in that, then go ahead and subscribe for more. Now before we get started, I need to give the obvious spoiler call that anybody who hasn't seen the movie. Okay, I hate getting my movie spoiled myself, so please, if you're planning to go watch the movie, Go enjoy it first and then come back to this video after. So if you're still here, that means that you've either already seen the movie or you don't care about spoilers, but you still want to hear what's going on with all of this controversy. Now, like I said before, so many Christians online right now are saying that these references to Christianity in this latest movie have been blasphemous, have been mocking God, um, and has been offending Christians all around the nation. But sometimes movies just bring up the Lord. And so I want to be able to give wisdom on how to approach these things. So I'm excited for this. So I want to react together to a video that has gone viral. And I think that it does a great job of summarizing the overall thoughts and feelings that Christians around the world are uh, feeling about this new movie. So let's watch it together. Guys, if you want to watch Deadpool. Don't do it. Literally don't. Don't do it. The new one. Don't watch it. Here. I don't know if you can see it, but we're at the theater literally now. We had to walk out. We're literally not finishing it. It, it. I have never felt so convicted in my life. Now we're gonna be bouncing back and forth, uh, addressing some of the comments that um, these ladies make. But before I share my thoughts as to why I think that Christians are overreacting to this, I have to say this. This is not an indictment to these two young ladies in the video whatsoever, okay? They seem like they love the Lord and stand up for the truth, which is amazing. So I pray that God blesses them. So please understand that my response is not just towards them, but to all of the uproar that's been going on on social media. And so I say all of this in love because I want to offer a new perspective of viewing this so that we can walk according to how God wants us to walk. When I watched the movie myself, I was honestly expecting for the references to be severely worse to what it actually was. I mean, like I was genuinely surprised. Like I was like, wait, really? That's it? That's what the people are going wild about. That movie was literally, you feel like the devil made the movie. I don't think that the devil made this movie. Simply put, it's a regular superhero movie targeted towards a mature audience. There were like three or four references to Christianity in total, and none of them perverted the truth. And we'll talk about some of these soon. It's literally not the Deadpool we know. Like, that. I, I had no Deadpool vibes in there. I don't know about you. None. It was literally like the devil took the movie and made it his own thing. Like... Like you sit in there, I don't know, I don't know about everybody else that was sitting in there, but I literally felt like God was like, get out of there. Like this is not, you don't, you don't it, sit we here and like watch this. We were like half hour in and I was like, nah. So here she says that this is not the Deadpool that we know. I'm not exactly sure who they think Deadpool is, but Deadpool has always been this over the top character known for killing, swearing, making inappropriate jokes nonstop. And in every single one of his movies, it's been R rated for that exact reason. If you're going to watch an R-rated movie, you should definitely expect it to not be clean. Deadpool is and has always been this dirty-minded and broken character. There was nothing different about how Deadpool was in this movie that would suggest any demonic influence or any demonic agenda being pushed. He's been the same in the comics and in the previous movies. Like when I tell you they mock Jesus, like, like, like a man on spoilers? the cross, yeah, man on the cross mocking Jesus. X, they slanted it. Like a cross. Like, yeah, the cross and was And Wolverine like this. is nailed to it. Like, With just... actual nails in his hand. Ugh. And then, and then under the cross was a bunch of skulls. And if that's not enough for you to feel like that's not a movie that you should watch. For the crucifixion scene, it's important to know that Jesus completely redefined the image of what the cross stands for today. Today, it is a symbol of resurrection and hope, but before that, it was just a torturing method. It was simply a way to kill people. So the scene in the movie isn't necessarily a reference to Christianity, let alone mocking it, but simply a reference to an old comic book where Wolverine was being tortured by his enemies. And the cross is slanted to make an X symbol because Wolverine is a main member of the X-Men. 
So this wasn't even a reference to Jesus and the cross. It wasn't mocking the cross at all. It was simply making a reference to its own source material. What did they call him? Marvel Jesus. Marvel Jesus. Yeah, apparently Deadpool is now Marvel Jesus. I don't know about you, but nobody's Jesus but Jesus. Yeah. So like they said, it's true. In the movie, Deadpool makes a joke and he calls himself Marvel Jesus. Here it is. I'm the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. But here's what I want to say to that. Listen, the universal truth is that the Lord Jesus is the sacrificial savior. Amen. And the entire plot of the movie was Deadpool's world was about to be destroyed and he was tasked with the assignment of saving his world. So because Deadpool is meant to be a comedic movie and his character is known for running his mouth, he makes a joke referencing the universal truth that Jesus is known as the Savior, to which he jokingly says, oh my gosh, that makes me Marvel Jesus, a.k.a. the Marvel Savior. Because the plot of the movie was exactly that. The theme was the salvation of his world. And people are saying that Deadpool is calling himself God by making that joke, but the truth is that he's simply making a connection to the fact that Jesus saves. He's not putting himself in the same category as God. He's not calling himself Jesus. They're using Jesus to paint a picture for the audience that Jesus equals Savior. And now, Deadpool is about to save his world. So it makes complete sense to say what he said in that context and knowing the type of character that Deadpool is. And Christians, isn't it our goal to become like Jesus? At the end of the day, that's what we strive for, to be like Christ. You know, Paul said something interesting in Philippians. And I think that this is the root problem. That you think that becoming like Jesus means to be equal to him. That's not what it means. Jesus wants us to take on his nature so that like him, we can also save others. Paul said that when Jesus came, he did not consider robbery to be equal with God. That's the problem, that people think that you're robbing God when you act like him, think like him, and be like him. Deadpool isn't robbing God of anything when he says he's Marvel Jesus. In fact, I think it just affirms the truth of the word of God. And apparently he has disciples. Just, just no. <laughs> the vibes were so she says here that he has disciples in the movie which just isn't true he doesn't have any disciples in the movie and after he says the joke about being marvel jesus he jokingly remarks that his core group of friends have been upgraded as disciples they were already in this biblical theme so it was just a joke and nothing came out of it for the rest of the movie at all i have never felt better about any decision in my life than walking out of that theater when i tell you i was excited for this movie Yes, the first and second Deadpool had swearing and killing in it. It was, it was Deadpool. It was, in, it was, in, Deadpool. It was inappropriate. It, it was obviously Deadpool. wasn't made by God, but this one just was made by the devil. Literally, quite literally. They also had a little devil person in there with horns and a tail. Yeah, like they say that a devil-like character appears, and they implied that that makes this movie. Uh, demonic, but this was simply a comic book character similar to the X-Men Nightcrawler that you might have seen in other movies except that he was red in skin color. Now this is simply incorrect and immature thinking, that if you see a depiction of a quote-unquote devil in anything, it automatically makes it evil, okay? That's just not true. The Bible mentions and describes demons a lot, but we know that the Bible isn't demonic, so we have to use wisdom here. The character didn't even have a speaking line. I think it had like three seconds of screen time. This isn't mentioned in the video, but I believe this is uh, the final reference to Christianity in the movie. And it's at the end of the movie where Deadpool has to sacrifice himself by blowing up this machine in order to save his world. And it was heavily stressed that although Deadpool has healing powers, it would not be enough to save him. So this meant certain death for him for the first time since getting superpowers. Now, when all of the characters were speaking about his death, out of nowhere, you hear Deadpool say something along the lines, I can't really remember too much, that he has risen. That's, that may not be the exact quote, but that's something along those lines. Now, most of these are simply allusions to Jesus Christ. And so far, you've seen that all of them are true. Notice how none of them said that Jesus stayed dead or that Jesus was powerless or whatnot. See, that would have been a different story. And that's the problem with a lot of believers right now. We're too sensitive. If movies don't include Jesus, we get mad. If they include Jesus, we get mad. It's called being double-minded. We cannot be double-minded for the scripture says that a double-minded person should not expect to receive anything from God. Now listen, has God been mocked in movies before? Surely, 100%. 
But in this case, the very few references and jokes about Jesus were simply painting the picture of the fact that Jesus is the Savior of the world. And all the other points were nothing but an overreaction. So I want you to adopt this mindset that Paul speaks about in Philippians if you don't have it already. Philippians chapter 1 verse 15 through 18. It says, It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivalry, but others out of goodwill. And the latter do so out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, and watch this, not sincerely, supposing that they may stir up trouble for me while I'm in chains. But Paul says this, and this is how you should think also. But what does that matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, or even making jokes, Christ is preached and Christ is mentioned. And because of that, I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice. So we need to stop being sensitive to culture and we need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit because with the Holy Spirit, we can be zealous, but also wise. With everything that I said, the main point that I've been trying to get across is that we shouldn't be offended at something that God is not offended by. Amen. So I think that all of this has just been an overreaction. I think that Christians were just a little bit sensitive about what's been going around in our world today. Um, and they didn't sit there to consider that what they said wasn't even false and that they were just painting a picture for their audience. Listen, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor and hit the like button below because that tells YouTube they need to send this video to more people. And finally, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I pray that the God of all perfect peace and grace would keep you. And I'll see you on the next one.